Hello everyone, so here's my take on an FM sub bass for the Deluge. Okay, so let's make this from scratch. Start a new synth with shift synth. Choose mode, mode. Yeah. Right, so now we've got a simple sine wave. So in order to not be able to do that, let's do it in a legato fashion. Um, Cut all. Now we can. Okay, and volume until to zero. Cool. Um, as you can hear that popping sound, uh, we'll get to that later. So well, actually, let's get to that now. Um, that can be uh, avoided by overlapping the sequence. So in Legato with a zero portamento, you would just overlap the sequence ever so slightly. It doesn't keep playing this note here. It just um, means you don't have that attack in between the two, sort of when it, when it moves to the other note. The sudden change in pitch doesn't result in the click. So now you can... Oops. Let me actually use the patch for making. Hear that? So still have a click on the first one. Because oh no, okay. So but just to make sure what you could do is move the whole thing slightly to the right. And now you've got you're able to make this overlap here and then come back. You have to click probably if the click is gonna happen, it's gonna happen on the first beat of the first run of your sequence and then on subsequent repetitions it won't. Right, so let's actually make the sound now. Um Carry one, carry, add a carrier two. Uh, I just do this. If I'm being fully honest, I'm not entirely sure if this only makes it louder or adds more than that. But now I have a problem because it's not consistent anymore. And in order to fix that, what's important to keep in mind is to re-trigger both of them from zero. Okay, um, modulator 1 is by default re-triggered from 0 as is modulator 2. Modulator 2 is by default transposed to minus 12, which we don't want for this patch. For this patch, we just want everything to be at 0. And now we can start adding in values for the modulators. If I recall correctly, the other patch has uh, 6 on the mod 1 and 8 on mod 2. So now you can hear it's a bit more rumbly. Uh, but it's not as sort of bottom heavy as the other patch. And that's because modulator 2 is being sent to carriers. Uh, my personal preference for this is to send it to mod 1. Which makes it colder and sort of more bass heavy. But use whatever works for you. Um, okay, so let's hear this now. So you can still sound beefing up a bit. Um, in order to have more room for volume for this, what I actually do is use two voices for it. Completely in tune with each other. Uh, 
And in order to have some movement with it around the kick, we use sidechain for that. So let me play the drums muted and see how, how sidechain works here. So here there's another click with that sound chain, uh, sidechain even. Um, and to get rid of that, you go into the sidechain menu, take attack all the way up to say. That's a good value if you're being nitpicky, maybe even 30. And maybe. Uh, yeah, that sounds like. That sounds alright. Then. Let's bring the drums back in. So see mod modulators are available here so that's mod 1 and that's mod 2 so here's what they add to the sound understand the fem but it seems that because mod 2 is going through mod 1 its influence isn't being heard as sort of trebly as mod 1 is so see that's very guttural and whereas mod 2 seems to add body rather and obviously its influences depend on how much of mod 1 you add because if you kill mod 1 don't get mod to at all, and then you bring both of those influences up with mod two. Yeah, I sort of keep them at eight and six. So another thing you can do to this is add a bit of chorus to it which just see how there's just a tiny bit of movement to it make it slower make it not a lot of depth and that's you're in the mix um So on headphones at least it just deepens it up a bit. Um, so I like to use that. And another little trick you can do is um, sign chain the modulation amount to kicks. So yeah, amount then modulate that with a side chain. And the same as the volume, it's gonna come up with the same speed as the volume. And then you're able to again. And from here on in, 
you can just add it to preference. So yeah, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See ya.